Hello everyone, so in this video, let us talk about one more easy problem from lead code. The problem is to convert the number to hexadecimal form. Okay, so uh, you are given an integer number nums, return the string representing its hexadecimal representation. Now for a negative number, two complement method is used. Now all the letters and the answer should be lowercase characters and uh, and there should be there should not be any leading zeros in the answer except for zero itself. If there is zero, then it is zero. I'll say it is the, it should not have any uh, like uh, you can say starting zeros and no inbuilt library method should be used. So you have 26 converted to one. So hexadecimal means that uh, it should be on a base of 16. Okay, so let's say binary is base two number. Hexadecimal is hexadecimal, so it's like base of 16 number. Okay, so I should be having 16 characters to represent that particular number. So if you have learned about hexadecimal, you can Google it out. So it the number is represented by 16 characters from 0 till 9 and from A till F. So these characters, so this is the order. So if let's say I have any number, so what we are trying to do is binary is like in binary number. We will take a number, find out the mod, like not mod value, remainder of that particular value when divided by 2. Take that number and then divide it by 2. Keep on doing that until it becomes 0. We'll do the same thing for every number in any base value. So let's say I want to find out in any like base 3. So I'll first take that number, like do divided by 3, and whatever is the remainder, take that number and then divide it by 3. Take that, then again, whatever the new number is there, find out the remainder with 3, take that number and then divide it by 3. And keep on doing that, whatever number that you are taking out, just store that number and that, that's the base value of it. Similarly, if you want to do this with hexadecimal, we have to also get what is the remainder. So if the remainder is 0, then we'll take the 0 value until 9 okay so 0 so the remainder can be 0 1 2 3 5 till 9 so when the remainder let's say becomes 10 so let's say the when we divide by 16 and the remainder becomes 10 so for instead of putting it 10 we will put it at a then b c d and the remainder can be up to 15 so for 15 we'll put it f okay so that is the hexadecimal decimal representation so it's very simple now that we'll take this number and then keep on dividing by 16 and uh, like uh, whatever the remainder get that value according to this digit format and then uh, if it is le like when we got it to zero we just stop so that's the whole thing if so that's the one of the like you can say edge scenario of the nums is zero already we just put it zero as uh, we have also negative numbers so just convert that number in the un unsigned integer so that we directly convert it to an unsigned integer and we have got good to go now uh, we have we will have to store that in the hex format so this is the answer will be stored here and uh, i think so this hex is not used i've used result okay. This is the digit that will be used to convert that. This is the result that will be storing out our final answer. And uh, just well, now what we'll do is that we'll take this n and we'll keep on doing this while loop until n is greater than zero. So we'll first find out its remainder, and uh, that is used for remainder actually. Okay, that is okay. That has it. So uh, we will find out the remainder that is n mod 16. When we got that remainder, if it is less than 10, then or, like you can directly get it from here as well. I have written like this, but you can directly get it from here. So uh, I think so. That is. Let's move this out. Whatever is the remainder you got, you will take that like remainder value put it inside this digit string and you will get the corresponding character and you will append that in the result that you're building and then divide it by 60. so the very simple way to get the number converted to any base value okay then you will get the final result and then in eventually when you got the result what you'll do the answer that is you have you have to reverse that answer because you are going from back to front okay if you're also getting in binary also whatever result you got you have to reverse it as well Okay, and then you just resolve, like reverse the whole result as well and just return the result. That's it, I think. So that's the overall uh, code part for this problem as well. So this is just doing a while loop over this. And this is an exponent, like you're completely dividing it by 16 again, 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 again. So uh, that's the overall thing. So that is the overall thing here as well. That's the overall logic and the code part for this problem as well. If you still have any doubts, you can mention it down in the comment box. I will see you in the next one. Thank you, coding and bye.